Hello everyone, welcome to Epic Files tutorial video on SSM Foreign. I'm Yasmin, and today I'm gonna show you how to import custom resources in Epic Files View Editor. First, you can access the asset info screen through the selection screen of animations or models. Let's import models first. Drag and drop your model files and enter a mod ID. Then you can see the imported models in the previous screen. If the model file also has an armature data, they're also imported to the armature screen. Multiple models can share the same armature if they have the same hierarchy in Blender. This means you don't have to import an armature if you import a model with an already imported armature. Press OK to complete importing models. The model data is saved into Datapack, so you can see custom models of current Datapack if you come back to the model import screen. If some of your models are not being used anymore, you can delete them. Next, let's import animations. Before we start, Note that the model shown on the current previous screen is the model of the animation you'll import. Drag and drop the animations and enter mode ID, just the same as the model info screen. Next, configure the animation settings. Select an animation type first. Static animations are the most basic animation type, it's used for most living animations. Transition time is how long it'll take to switch from a previous to this animation. Repeat as if an animation loops. It automatically plays an animation again from 0 frames if it checked as true. Advance this some extra colon settings. Before we set up advanced settings, we need to know how Epic Flight animation system works. The player pose consists of 4 layers, 1 base layer, and 3 composite layers. Composite layers have the lowest, middle, and highest priority. Base layer also can have a priority. It depends on the animation being played currently. The animator applies the base layer first, then it applies composite layers in order of our lowest, middle, and highest. Composite layers can have joint masks that decides which joints will be disabled when applied to the final pose based on the player's living motion. For instance, Razor Holding Animation has no joint mask when the player is in idle state, but only the player's arms will be applied to the final pose for any other living motions. Composite layers with a lower priority than base layer will be ignored. But if the base layer has the lowest priority, it allows all layers including the lowest composite layer. Get back to the editor screen. Select the layer type. If you select multi-layer, it will be played at both the base and composite layers. Next, select the priority. I'll choose middle, because this bucket holding animation should override living animations. Next, define joint masks with the player's living motion. In my case, I'll enable all joints for idle state and only the arms for all other states. Movements and animations are the same as static, but its playback speed is affected by the player's movement speed. Attack animations can hurt entities while playing. They have multiple paces. Each of them has a chance to strike entities in a collider. So if you want to strike enemies two times, define two paces. Now let's see how paces are organized. Paces receive parameters that represent a specific point in an animation time, and they should be ordered by ascending. From zero to anticipation, entities can turn to trace their attacking target. From anticipation to pre-delay, an entity can control itself to move or turn. From pre-delay to contact, it'll hurt entity inside a collider. An entity can still control itself during this time. From contact to recovery, an entity can still control itself, but players can execute skills like dodge or weapon in it. From recovery to the end of animation, an entity can move or turn. An animation will be cancelled and replaced to living animations. And this mainly for entities that use tools. It determines which hand an item should be selected from to calculate damage. You can set a collider that is exclusive for an animation, or you can leave it empty if you want to get collider from item capability. Collider joint is a joint that moves a collider. After you finish setting properties, you can see if your collider applied normally under the previous screen. It will turn into a red box to indicate when hurting occurs. Basic attack animation is very similar to attack animations, but it's used for weapon combo animations. So if you want the animation to be used as combo animation of weapon type, set it as basic attack animation. Shorted animations are for short stun, that the total playing time has changed based on the impact. Long hit animations are for long stun, that animations are also included to this type. Knockdown animation is for knockdown stun, players can reduce stun time using dot skill. Thanks for watching this video, I hope this video helped you creating your data pack. 